Michael Anthony opens up about his thoughts on Wolfgang Van Halen taking his spot in the legendary band Van Halen. Despite the lineup change, Anthony holds no grudges and shares his perspective on why Wolf might not have been thrilled about the whole situation. Michael Anthony has no hard feelings towards Wolfgang Van Halen for replacing him in the legendary band, speculating that Eddie Van Halen's son probably wasn't excited about joining the group. After almost 10 years of persistent but unfounded rumors regarding Anthony's departure, his tenure with Van Halen officially ended in 2006 when Eddie Van Halen declared that his teenage son Wolfgang would take over the position, a move that sparked controversy among some fans. In the years that followed, Van Halen never reunited with Michael Anthony, who continued collaborating with Sammy Hagar on various projects. Unfortunately, Anthony never resolved his lingering issues with Eddie Van Halen before the legendary guitarist's unexpected death in October 2020, as he revealed in a new interview with Sally Steele. However, Anthony did find a sense of closure after attending a mammoth Wolfgang Van Halen concert at the House of Blues in Las Vegas. He added, no, sadly, Eddie and I never had the opportunity to resolve our past differences. However, towards the end of 2023, Wolfgang performed at the House of Blues here, and I attended the show as his guest we sat and talked, which provided a lot of closure for me. Valerie Bertinelli, Wolfgang's mother and Eddie's ex-wife, was also there. It was a great night. Besides being a great guy and musician, Wolf's band is amazing, so at least we had that moment. Anthony emphasized that he has never had any issues with, with Wolfgang, with whom he has always been friends explaining why he harbors no resentment about losing his spot in Van Halen to Wolf. Eddie wanted to play with his son. I believe Wolfgang probably wasn't that excited about being in Van Halen, which is why he doesn't play any Van Halen songs in his own band. He wants to create his own identity, but I completely understand wanting to perform with his father. I love Wolfie. I hadn't seen him in about 20 years, and when I went to his show, it was fantastic. We had a great time and a great hangout. Similarly, Anthony mentions he never saw any signs that Eddie was grooming his son to replace him as Van Halen's bassist. No, I didn't see him preparing Wolfgang for my role. Wolfgang's first instrument was the drums. He also knew a few guitar chords, and during our 2004 Van Halen reunion tour, he even strummed some chords with Eddie at a few shows. But being Eddie Van Halen's kid, he was bound to be multi-instrumental anyway. Thanks for tuning in everyone. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Michael Anthony's perspective on Wolfgang Van Halen joining the band, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Music Mad for more rock history insights. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on the Van Halen lineup changes and any other rock legends you'd like us to cover. Until next time, keep rocking and stay tuned for more.